Good morning, friends. Today we'll cover chapter five: create RDD using external data sets. This is the actual uh, the way that how uh, the big data is used uh, to uh, create RDD uh, using Spark. The previous one where we covered uh, using the parallelized method that is just for the POC for taking it from the Java collections. But the actual use case is actually getting the whole data from very huge file systems or from the very big uh, data from uh, MongoDB or any NoSQL database like Cassandra or HBase. So Spark can create distributed data sets from any storage source supported by Hadoop, like local file system. It can have like any local file system in the form of GZ, uh, zip format or a normal text file, which is very huge. Or it can use like Hadoop and uh, distributed file system, which was used by uh, earlier MapReduce, which we covered in the theory, uh, in the, in the theory section. Cassandra, HBase, MongoDB, these are all uh, NoSQL databases. HBase is more about Apache uh, HBase, which is based on uh, Google's big table, but is again a, a NoSQL uh, database. And the most uh, important, uh, I mean, the use case we have uh, like witnessed is that it's from Amazon S3. Amazon S3 is uh, provided by Amazon Web Services, where we uh, S3 is a bucket where it can store huge amount of files. Um, and we have got Amazon EMR, that is Elastic Map Reduce, where we have got already Hadoop and Spark installed. And that's that's the place that we actually source the data from Amazon S3 buckets and do the big data processing. So Spark supports text files, as we just discussed, or the sequence files or any Hadoop input format. Hadoop, uh, in Hadoop input format is just an interface here and which has got its own specifications. You can go into details. Uh, I will uh, put the link here. But it's more about how Hadoop uh, uh, MapReduce was working before. And sequence file input format is just an, a class which uh, extends file input format or any input format for sequence files. So this was all based on uh, HDFS MapReduce, which was used before. Text file RDDs can be created using Spark context text file method. In our in our unit test when, when we are when we go to the code demo, in that case we are we will be using this text file method for to understand that how uh, this text file or how to uh, create an RDD using uh, the, the, those external files. So we can use Java Spark context text file method to load this text files from our local system. This method can also take a URI, a URI for the file that is an uniform resource indicator. So, either a local path on the machine, or if it's on the, we can use if it's on a, on a HDF, uh, on a Hadoop cluster, we can use this HDFS colon slash slash, which is our the URI for loading that file. Or if we are to uh, getting the data from the file from uh, Amazon S3 bucket, then you can use S3A colon slash slash. So all these are URIs which can be used accordingly. And it, once, it, once it reads, it has a collection of lines. Uh, it will just store it as a Java RDD here. For example, we just create a Spark context here and call this text file method. And suppose this is the data dot text txt file, which is in the in the com in the command line or in your local machine. Then just calling this text file method, we will create will we read all as a collection of lines and store it into a RDD like this with a string. And uh, this can be used. Once this RDD is created, it can be acted on any on by dataset operations like map or reduce, which we did the similar way in the previous chapter when we created it using parallelized method. And then we can perform various operations like map or reduce or collect or whatever. Now, a few important points to read files in Spark. So if we are using a cluster mode, I mean, we have got a, a driver node or a master node and several other worker nodes sitting on different uh, hosts so if you are using a path on the local file system the file must also be accessible at the same path on worker nodes because we are just providing in the text file here we will provide uh, just the local path uh, reference and uh, so if we are doing the same in a driver program and if we are distributing this to the all the worker nodes and those workers nodes are sitting on a separate on a separate node on in the cluster so then we have to provide this file, this local file in all the worker nodes, either copy the file to all workers or use a network mounted shared file system. Okay. So what it means is that 
if we have got this spark context under our driver program and then we are using this uh, text file method using the local file system so all that file should be exactly copied to the worker node here all the worker nodes here or we can also use a shared network drive or share uh, like summer drive where it can be referenced by all the worker nodes at once second point all of sparks file based input methods including text file support running on directories so we can also pass the directory a complete directory so it will whatever the files are there inside it all would be loaded into rdd support running on directories compressed files we can use dot dz file it also support wild cards we can use like star dot txt and if there are like five or ten uh, files ending with dot txt all would be loaded into rdd so it's like very flexible and it's just like one command one command and just giving the location it can host a whole uh, it, all those uh, big data files into one spark rdd the point three is that the text file method also takes an optional second argument for controlling the number of partitions by the, of the file as we have discussed with the parallelized method as well that by if we don't uh, specify uh, any number of partitions so it will take the default uh, number of cpu cores on the driver program and it accordingly it will use it but here also we can have a second parameter and we can uh, override that uh, default partitions from four to whatever numbers you want for eight or ten whatever by default spark creates one partition for each block of the file and in the hdfs file system by default it's 128 mb uh, per lock but we can also ask for a higher number of partitions by passing a larger value and also note that we cannot have fewer partitions than blocks so as we also also discussed that there are various text uh, i mean various other formats which uh, spark can use for example sequence files or input format etc and also we can save uh, the, the rdd as an object file and also we can load the files from amazon s3 as we have discussed so let's go into more details by writing some actual unit test code uh, in the next video we will dive into intellij and write the unit tests to understand this better so see you all in the next video